Hello ladies and gents, thank you very much for tuning into my channel. It's Be A Monster O'Clock. And uh, I've been to m and for this one. Got a quite a posh looking beer. Uh, it is a IPA, it's just an IPA. It's one of those IPAs where they just use a single hop to kind of like showcase all the different flavors and fruits and bitterness and whatnot that they can get out of this particular hop. So they sort of just really try and show off what the hop can do, I suppose. And the hop, of course, is called Jester, hence the name, Jester IPA. Now, uh, this is a, a M&S own brand beer, uh, but they they do get breweries in to brew them for them. They don't brew them themselves. Uh, the brewery uh, with this one is uh, Adnams Brewery, who are, of course, based in Suffolk. It's 5.2% ABV, 500 ml bottle, and they only cost me £1.50, this beer, which, you know, for our by m and standards, pretty darn cheap, but it wasn't off by the usual price of £2.50. I don't know whether they're getting rid of it or whether I just got lucky and it was going cheap. We've got a nice uh, great Britain, fl Britain flag on there. There's the bottle cap, rather nice. I've seen that before on a few of their beers though. Uh, and of course, yeah, it's made with British hops. Being Jester, let's crack her open and uh, see what it's all about, see if I like it. Dodgy spot over there. Right, Let's see if we can get a headshot today. Don't even want to fire. What's up with it? Try again. Oh, I don't know if that was close or not because I have to close my eyes because I might take my eye out one day. Uh, one somebody commented in one of my other videos that was very close to your eye. So since then, I've been shutting your eyes. Anyway, I need to review a beer and I stop waffling. Let's get her in the glass and uh, see what it's all about. I find the MS beers to be. Mostly good, but sometimes you do get the occasional stinger, that's for sure. Um, hopefully this will be one of the better ones. Let me know if you tried it in the comments, guys, uh, whether you enjoy this particular beer. I know that you can get it on tap as well. And uh, obviously when it's on tap, it'll just say Adnam's Brewery. It won't say m &S, will it? Uh, there we go. Here's a look at the beer. I've got to say, it looks like a very nice beer. Uh, it's giving off some interesting aromas that I'm picking up from here, actually. Uh, without even having to get me snout right in the action. Uh, yeah, it's a kind of uh, golden y sort of colour, this one, isn't it? We've got a nice, brilliant white head on there. Fairly compact bubbles. Let's give it a whiff and check out the aromas of this beer. Floral hops, getting some fruit. Uh, I'm not too sure what fruit that is. Hmm. I think it might be lychee. Some lychee in here, which is interesting. Uh, some citrus. Uh, can't pinpoint exactly what citrus fruit it is, but it's definitely some sort of citrus fruit, possibly grapefruit. Um, I can't really detect much uh, in the way of malts. Perhaps a slight hint of like a toffee malt, really, really in the background. I like. sort of thing which, uh, if I had any bogeys up my nose, I probably wouldn't be able to uh, detect. You know, one of them ones. <laughs> anyway, let's get it down the neck and uh, see what I think of this beer. Cheers, everyone. Bosh. Hmm. It's quite nice, uh, it's decent. Um, it's not blowing me away or nothing like that. Um, it's pleasant, it's refreshing. I give it that, it's quite a refreshing beer. Um, quite a gentle sort of mouthfeel to this one. The carbonation feels quite gentle as well. Initially, I'm getting like some uh, grapefruit at the start, I think it is. It's very like traditionally British, more of a like a English parallel or an Indian parallel. Um, good flavour, not a great deal of fruit. But for me, I'm getting like some citrus at the front, which I believe to be grapefruit. Um, and then that's giving it like a slight dryness as well. And then towards the middle, you're getting the fruit. 
uh, which is bringing a little bit of sweetness to the beer along with some like toffee malts. Um, the fruit, I think it is lychee. It's like, like a, there's some more fruits in there as well, which I can't detect exactly what they are. It's kind of more of like a, a, a fruit blend of a few different fruits in here. Um, the only one that I can actually pick out is lychee, but there's definitely some more fruits in here. Uh, it tastes something quite exotic tasting about it. Yeah, it, it is quite a dry one. Um, I think them uh, fruits in the middle kind of rescue this beer, otherwise it would be kind of horribly dry. That, that sort of sweetness coming from the fruit sort of perks it up a little bit. And after that, like fruity sweetness that you're getting in the middle from the lychee and whatever the other fruits are, there's kind of like a, a gentle bitterness on the end. That uh, it's like a slightly lingering bitterness. It's not a strong lingering bitterness. It's just a slight bitterness there that just sort of lingers, lingers a little bit, sort of finishes the beer off. So it's 5.2% ABV in this beer. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Um, for me, it tastes, it tastes about 5%, yeah. It tastes about right. Um, I think if you get this on tap, which I've never tried on tap or out of all, but I think if you get it on tap, it's a little bit weaker. I think it's 4.8% ABV. So it's obviously a slightly different beer as they uh, usually are. Yeah, it's, it's not, it's certainly not the most complex sort of beer in the world. Um, but yeah, it's quite, it's, it's nice and refreshing. It's quite easy drinking. Um, again, a bit like, uh, I think it was yesterday's review. Uh, it's good, but it's not, it's not great. It's, you know, I'm enjoying it. But that's one of them ones, again, I'm not going to rush out and be like, oh, yeah, it's Jester IPA, yeah. But, you know, it's nice. I'd, I'd put it in a decent category. I'd like to try it on tap. Pretty sure it'll be a lot better on tap, to be fair. Um, yeah, for, I would say for the £1.50 I paid, it's worth a buy. But if it was £2.50, the normal price, I don't think it's worth £2.50 when you consider some of the other beers you can get in other supermarkets for cheaper. Uh, you know, right. But, you know, for, for the price £1.50 that I paid, that's fair enough, really, isn't it? If you tried this, I would be interested to know what you, uh, you think of it. Let me know in the comments, or uh, let's have a chat about whatever you like. In the comments, a uh, bit of interaction is always nice. Who doesn't like a bit of interaction? <laughs> uh, as far as score goes, mm. this a little bit, but like, it's pleasant, it's, it's nice enough. Uh, maybe just a tiny bit over average. Uh, I'll give what I think average beers, what average beers are seven. So this is sort of like a 7.2 maybe out of, t out of 10 for me. That's my personal opinion, of course. What's your opinion if you tried it? What would you give it out of 10? Um, thanks very much for tuning in, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And... Um, and that you're having a nice uh, week. And uh, till the next one, guys. Oh, yeah, smash that like button as well. Till the next one, guys. Bye bye, darlings.